Hello, this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. This video is for JT in Canada. And this video is a test of the bench test of EGAS module, also known as EA module, electronic throttle actuator control module. And that came from C36 AMG. So this is a rare module, not many out there. And here is the part number right here. Let me just flip the camera because it's upside down. So here is our part number, HWA and 8932. So this one came from C36 AMG and I'm about to send it to a customer. Before I do so, I wanna make a video to show a bench test. Now, it is connected to the test throttle body. This is an ASR unit, so I have ASR throttle body on my bench soldered in to terminals directly to the connectors like right here so um, we have that we have our power supply there pardon the mess um that's just because i was quickly cleaning the bench because i'm gonna i'm working on something else and i just want to make this video finally and then this lead right here this one is connected to multimeter down there so we want to show i want to show the fuel safety shut off voltage that it is actually coming out the unit because some of these things die out and then you have fuel safety shut off and we have unfortunately just a regular blinking tool here to show codes coming out the module what's unfortunate about is I do have my star diagnostic here which is multiplexer has actually failed and I cannot connect I cannot show codes on the computer itself I already tried to, I found the chip that's not good, so I'm gonna order it, but I cannot resurrect it to show the actual um, codes. I mean, I've fixed one of these boards. This one is working now, the wires and all that, whatever. So I cannot show it on the laptop with Star Diagnostic. So I'm, we're gonna have to resort to old school way with the little blinking tool. Now, the, the, um, the test itself is obviously performed without the actual ECM, uh, the uh, the engine control module, rather. So this is HF, uh, HFM, is it? HFM, yeah, I think this is HFM system on this vehicle, hot film as airflow sensor. So we have no electronic control module for the engine management. Therefore, we will get by default codes that this module does not see the main engine computer so communication codes and another code that we'll see is the close throttle position signal going back <coughs> into the module the reason for that is one of the terminals down under there connects to the main computer and there's supposed to be voltage fluctuation from like like five volts and less and over five volts and when this five volts and less when the throttle is closed I believe five volts and up or plus or minus whatever when the throttle is open so the voltage should change I don't want to just put in the voltage in it force it so I want to leave it alone because that's the terminal that's supposed to see it so we have fuel safety shut off voltage coming out and it does not drop it's supposed to be from 2 to 11 which is we pretty much fine it's supposed to go up and down and that's what I wanted to show so this module is fine the second voltage should go in there and we don't obviously have it because we don't have now the engine control module all right so let's activate the system here system is on so we have about 12 13 volts here approximately yeah that's about maybe 12.8 12.5 so we have 12.5 volts. Now, first thing is the throttle body is active. So I'm going to leave it be because it's going to learn it's stop. Fuel safety shut off voltage 11.2. two. I see it jumps up and down, which is good. It should not be over 11 and less than 2. So we're right there. The throttle body learned it's stop. So we're good. So when I activate the throttle body, that voltage should change a little bit. See, 8 volts, 7 volts. 4 volts so that's normal that's the way it's supposed to be 
as long as the voltage is coming out the module if it's not coming out modules bad so voltage is coming out it's trying to find that the throttle stop but we don't have engine control module so we cannot get throttle stop signal to go in so we're good there throttle obviously activates as you can see it's electronic activation all right so that works pretty well nice and nice and easy so we're good in this department I had tested this unit for a few days so I'm sure that it does not shut down and the codes now so again it's going to blink we're gonna count blinks one two three four five six seven that's it seven blinks that means communication bus can bus communication between modules obviously because it's standalone we don't have any other modules so obviously we have that code so that's number seven and the next one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay that's eleven eleven is the cl close throttle position switch it's not the pedal switch it's the actual signal signal from the engine control module so you get that um, throttle is either closed or open and this code also duplicates with fuel safety shutoff but I don't see a problem with fuel safety shutoff because I got voltage on this pin so we're good and now I'm gonna press it if it's gonna go back to seven code to seven blinks for a code for CAN bus then that will mean that uh, there are no other codes stored in the system so let's do that one two three four five six seven seven codes so there are only two codes in this module and obviously they will remain because unless everything is connected with other computers then codes should go away you can clear them they should not come back so this is basically all this is the activation the unit is running not hot or anything it runs pretty well the temperature is pretty much room temperature so that's good even when I had it on on the bench for a long time it just barely warmed up so nothing is overheating inside and again because it's an AMG module not many out there I just happen to have one and um, I'm going to mail it to Canada again here's our throttle activation very nice and smooth works very good like very fluidly quick slow perfect and one more time I'm gonna shut down the system now the system is off obviously throttle is not active obviously the voltage is zero so let's put the system back on we have system back on got the voltage over there we got our throttle body activation so this is basically all I know it's a long video but it's gone far it's a rare unit so I don't want no surprises here so I just wanted to make sure that this one is perfectly working order and that's about all basically mm, there's nothing else to say and um, off it goes all right well this is Victor at Restoria Mercedes.com thank you for watching